What's up internet, Ash here from Escape Studios bringing you another tips and tricks video. Today I'm going to show you a little Python script which will help to free up some processing power for when your projects get really big in Maya. One of the unfortunate things about Maya is that the larger our scenes and our projects and our save files become, the slower our computers run. Because there's so much information going on in the program that it struggles to cope with it all. There's loads of little hints and tips that you can use to help your computer run a little bit faster. That ranges from simple things like closing all other programs when you use Maya or hiding objects and using display layers up into more advanced things like using Python scripts. Now, so I've got a project here that I'm in the early stages of which is creating a Minecraft scene. Now, I've only got a couple of textures in here, but each texture I create has a material sphere inside the hypershade. These are the visual representations of the material that's on the object, okay? And whenever I click on one of them, I also get a thumbnail inside the attribute editor. Now these are accurate representations of the material. That means that they update every time I change something in the scene. So if I add another light, all of these thumbnails have to update. Now we're going to use a script which disables these thumbnails. Now I know I've only got a few textures here myself, but if you're building a whole street or a whole city even in Maya, each one of your buildings or assets has to have a different texture. Each texture has to have a different material sphere. The material spheres are constantly updating. If you add stuff like final gather and subsurface scattering into the mix, you've suddenly started taking up a lot of your computer's processing power. So we're going to disable these thumbnails with a Python script. And that means Maya doesn't have to update them all the time, which frees up a lot more of your computer's resources. I've got the script here on the screen, but it's also in the description of this video. So you can simply copy and paste it from there if you wish. I'm going to open up my script editor where it says Mel and Python. Make sure you select Python because this script is a Python script. Select it all, right click copy. I'm going to control V and I've pasted it into the script editor. If I select this all now, head to my custom tab, hold the middle mouse button down and drag it into the custom shelf. Boop. Now you can use your shelf editor to give that a name and a different picture if you like. But what that means is every time I click this, it's gonna run that script so I don't have to keep copying and pasting it into every project that I'm running. But just for the first time, I'm gonna press enter on the keyboard and run that Python script. You see, it says swatches turned off. So now if I select one of my materials and alter its transparency, its ambient color, and essence, the texture is changing itself in Maya. However, the thumbnail isn't updating. So basically, it's saved that thumbnail now and it won't change no matter what I do to it. I can even go as far as to break the color connection. The color's obviously gone from here. However, the tree bark thumbnail in my hypershade and in my tree bark attributes has stayed exactly the same. So Maya isn't updating this anymore. Again, it may not seem like much on this quite simple scene. If you've got a hundred textures with subsurface scattering in, I think it's fair to say you'll see quite a dramatic difference. Don't forget guys, the first two weeks of November is the VFX Festival. Ran by Escape Studios, we're gonna have workshops, industry panel debates, recruitment talks, exclusive screenings both here at Escape Studios and at The View in Leicester Square. It's going to be really cool and tickets are selling out fast. So click on the link on the screen now, check it out and come and see us in real life. Thanks a lot for watching. Hit subscribe now so you don't miss out on any more of our videos and we'll see you next week.